What's up? It's Maddie at MixTheMasterMySong.com. So we're always looking for ways to make our drums sound bigger and stronger and like the biggest sounding things ever. So today I wanted to go over three different ways that I use distortion on my drums in order to thicken them, thicken them up and make them, you know, cut through the mix and just sound huge. So we'll hop in and, and, and go through these three different things. The, uh, the first one and, and one of the best plugins ever made and many of you probably have this or know someone that does, is the Decapitator from Sound Toys. So um, I got these drums here from my buddy Zach on his song News Feed, and I just loaded them into Studio One, so I just got a little rough mix going. And, and what, what we're going to concentrate on is mostly the kick and snare here, because um, that's usually where I'm going to add it on. I don't tend to add too much distortion with cymbals, but hey, man, there's no rules. Um, so... Let's just play this loop. I don't have anything on there except for a little EQ. So just adding the decapitator, I usually turn the decapitator on, drive it about three. I don't really change anything else. I might change my output a bit. Um, and that just helps the snare a lot of times kick through. So we'll turn this on both the uh, um, top and bottom snare. So you can hear right away, that snare is cracking now. There is a little bit of a volume change. It's not completely matched, but there's definitely a change in sound and tone, and it helps cut through the mix a lot more. So I always do that, almost on everything. Um, <clears throat> then what I might do after that even is I'll set up a parallel uh, channel over here. So if you can see, all my drums are going into this channel here, this bus, and then this bus has a send feeding to this other aux channel, which is my drum parallel compression. And on this, I'm just using um, the UAD API 2500. You can use the Waves version. It's the same thing, just sounds a little different. And then that goes into, once again, the decapitator, except here I'm hitting it quite a bit harder. Um, they got the drive at five. I've cut off a little bit of the low and the tone. The tone's great. I didn't change it on this instance, but I change that a lot. It's a good way to get different sounds out of your, your uh, parallel bus. And then the high cut, there's none here. So just a bit of a low cut. Um, and now let me turn this on and you'll really hear a pretty cool difference. I'm going to do what I usually do when I parallel compress, bring it up slowly and you'll start hearing it. Pay attention to the kick too, how the kick just comes alive when that bus turns on. So that's another thing I do. Usually when I'm mixing live drums, it's going to go through this channel 95% um, of the time, unless it's something I'm not trying to make too aggressive. But the last one is something I keep playing with, actually Slate just release the newer version with these, what do they call it, dream strips or whatever it is. Um, it's funny, man. I've so slowly been liking Slate stuff more and more. Um, so this is something I've been playing with, a little drum bus. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll I'll use the virtual channel, usually on the, the Brit 4K, give it a little more drive. Um, and then I love this London saturation plugin. For some reason, I keep going back to the London one. Um, and so I got it saturated pretty hard, turned up pretty good, and then I just the mix brought down, and then just a little revival just to give it a little extra, a uh, little extra punch, a little extra high end. So let's make sure, okay, I got the bus off, so I'm going to turn this on and off so you can hear the difference here.
So it's kind of a different tone compared to what I was doing here on the parallel. It's a little softer, a little more vintage, you could say. Um, it kind of rounds and warms the transients, where the 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 parallel with the decapitator is more kind of punchy. So it's cool just with saturation how you can get kind of different sounds just by using saturation techniques. Um, maybe if we use the New York, it'd be a little more edgier. This one tends to be a little more aggressive. So, you know, you could play with these all day and get different tones. But um, just kind of wanted to show you uh, different ways you can get your drums to punch a little stronger with, with just distortion and saturation. So I hope that was helpful. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, make sure to like and subscribe if you can. And if you just need your songs mixed or mastered, hit me up at mixandmastermysong.com. Thanks. Yeah.